Alright, so since we ended that first part with such an epic pull, I'm just going to dispense with the pleasantries and move straight into the 16th pack. Let's hurry up and find out what our fourth and by right it should be our final GX is. Yeah, starting off this opening with an Emolga. Another type now. Yeah, so since we pulled four in the previous one, Ultra Dimensional Beast. I'm pretty sure I pulled like, I think now that I'm thinking back, I think I pulled 4 for my Collection Sun and Collection Moon openings as well, so yeah, I suppose every box is only gonna have like 4 uh, those GX cards. I don't think that uh, the they'll actually try to set up the situation where some boxes might have more, like there might be a possibility of pulling 5, I don't think so. They are probably quite meticulous about the way they put the GXs in the boxes, so I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but you know, it would be nice, as always. Nothing here. It looks like, uh, how many have we seen, or seen already? I think there was only like ground memory and poison memory, or maybe psychic memory. I mean, they're both purple. Carablast. Okay. Another Alolan Marowak and an Octillery. You know what, I think it's kind of slow to just drop the Pokemon aside one by one. So let's do this. Alright, yeah, that seems to be faster. <laughs> Especially since most of these cards, uh, I don't really care about them. Unless I stumble upon one with really, really nice art. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me try to do this without revealing the card behind. Any of Regigigas. Still not very good at this card sliding behind thing. Ah. Well, I guess talking about Sun and Moon again, uh, I think Silvali and Type Null is pretty cool. If if they gave us like oh it's psychic, alright, it's psychic memory. If they gave us like Type Null earlier in the game, I probably would have, might have maybe added it to my team, but I mean I don't really play competitive and I'm, once I'm done with the story and like the basically the post game additional stuff I'm basically done with the game already so there wasn't really much reason for me to like go and train up Ooh! Alright at least it's not a Kartana GX but yes Our fourth, we are not doubling up in this one Our fourth GX pull for this booster box is Buzzwo GX just look at all those muscles and that mosquito nose. I'm gonna put it aside first. So it seems like we managed to pull two Ultra Beasts from this set and two from the others. If I'm not wrong, there are actually only like four Ultra Beasts overall with, uh, within both sets. Uh, let me think back. Yeah, I don't think Zerka Tree, Celestila, and like the rest have been turned into cards yet because. Uh, these sets are actually the first sets in which the Ultra Beasts actually make an appearance. So who knows, maybe we'll get the rest of the Ultra Beasts in the next set, although the next set is already going to be the start of the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon era, and the Booster Box art has already been- Ooh! Hey, that's a pretty nice and awesome looking Aegron artwork. Yeah, so they've actually revealed uh, the tech art for the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon expansions already, and we've of course got the Necrozma possessing Soul Galio and the Necrozma possessing, uh, possessing Lunala. So, but I mean, yeah, since the focus will be on Necrozma and like, it's probably gonna be like Ultra Beast focus as well. So I guess the other Ultra Beasts will appear in due time. But yeah, it's pretty cool that we managed to pull all the Ultra Beasts in, uh, yeah, in these two boxes already. I wonder what are the GXs I missed out on. Though. Yeah, I, I guess you guys, uh, for those of you guys who believe in the system, I guess there's not much reason for you guys to continue watching this video. Although, on the off chance that I somehow ah, miraculously managed to pull... Oh my god, sorry. I, looks like I need to do it the tough way. Oh. Yeah, unless I somehow managed to miraculously pull a 5th GX, which is... Hold on a sec, let me get this annoying cards out, this pack. Alright. <laughs> yep, nothing, nothing, just a Google. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys can probably leave the video now. Because 
we already managed to pull the 4 GX first and as un as like as much as I want it to happen, it's probably not gonna happen. Now we're on to our final pack. Wow. I didn't expect the video to like end so prematurely, at least for Yu-Gi-Oh since there are so many foils to get. Like uh the excitement usually lasts all the way to the final pack of the box. But here we are at the final box of this the final pack of this Awakened Hero Booster Box opening. So right. Any, any miracles? Oh, well, wasn't really expecting anything to happen, but at least we managed to end on a hollow foil, Salazzle. So with that, let me just sleeve up my Buzzwolf real quick and get back to you guys. Alright, so here we have the super epic pulls we managed to get from this Awakened Hero Booster Box. Booster Box? Let's go through them one by one. So first we have our epic looking Go Alolan Golem GX with his finishing move Heavy Rock GX. And up next we have the awesome Awakened Hero Silvali GX with his special finishing move Rebellion GX. Also his other moves are like uh, Turbo Drive and his, his Pokemon ability is Gyro Unit. All very mechanical, artificial fitting with his image. And up next we managed to pull an Ultra Beast Buzz Wool GX and his finishing move is Ix Expansion GX. So for those of you who don't know, uh, he's actually codenamed UB Expansion in the Japanese one. And I think in the English one they change it to Absorption, which makes no sense at all, but yeah. Our final pull is one of the Ultra Beasts. Definitely one of my more favorite ones. Kartana GX. And his final move is just simply Slash GX. That only requires one energy. Wow. Alright. Oh, wow, the effect is you basically just get to pull one prize card instantly. So this guy can just help you win the game if you've only got one prize card left. That's pretty interesting to think about, but I don't know, it doesn't seem very feasible, but yeah, that's a pretty cool that's a pretty cool effect. I don't think there's any other Pokemon which can do stuff like that. But yeah, so since we didn't double up like the previous set, I would say this uh, this uh, booster box opening was a grand success. Managed to pull a lot of epic looking, awesome looking cards, and especially the hyper rare. Definitely gonna treasure this card. And with that, that'll be the end of this Awakened Hero booster box opening, as well as the two booster box openings for SM4. But that's not the end of the story, because just to let you guys know, uh, with each box I uh, purchased, they actually gave me like five promo packs for something known as the Get Silvali campaign. So by opening those packs, there's actually a small chance that I'll be able to pull a Silvali GX. But not just any ordinary Silvali GX like this one, it'll actually be an alternative art, Shiny Silvali GX. So if you guys want to see if I managed to pull that awesome Shiny Silvali GX, do keep your eye on this channel. And if you enjoyed this opening video, of course, do remember to like, comment and subscribe for our future Pokemon Booster Box opening videos. As I mentioned in a previous video, now that I've got my salary raise, which I hope will be permanent, I'm prob I'll probably be able to support opening the Pokemon Japanese main series boosters for now, at least temporarily, as long as my salary remains this high. So with that, hope to see you guys in the next Pokemon video. When I'm right next to you, fighting a single crew, I turn into someone new with a speed that's faster than can see a mystic motion.